Should DJs be using these kind of mini digital systems for ceremonies? Let's talk about it. Almost daily in DJ groups, there's always people asking about other DJs ceremony system. What kind of mics are you using? And always these little systems pop up and people swear by them. And like a lot of you, I saw that video that Justin the DJ dropped where he was going through his ceremony system and he showed these DJI system. And to be honest, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, oh, this guy's using these kind of things for ceremonies. So I picked them up, they got here and I actually reached out to him. I was like, yo bro, you wanna come on, do a live stream with me? We could talk about these. I saw a lot of people, you know, we got a lot of questions. Are they working? You know, what do you think? He left me on red. Did the mature thing and I unfollowed his ass. He's fucking dead to me. We'll just figure this out. And what I did was I did a trial run. I took him with me to a wedding ceremony. I'm gonna show you that footage in just a second. But first, let's talk about these things. Let's take a look. First of all, I'm really impressed. The case is really nice. You get two mics and you get the receiver that charge inside the case. It also comes with the now obsolete iPhone adapter, the Thunder, and it comes with USB-C if you wanna hook it up to your phone. It comes with a nice little carry case. It's really sturdy, guys. This stuff is really made well. And inside you can put either the adapters that you need, cables, or it's got some of these cattails in it as well. You can attach these two different ways. You can either clip it on, it's got a clip, or it's got a magnet, which is what I'm doing right now to keep it on your shirt. It boasts 14 hours of recording time. It's got a touch screen on the receiver to make adjustments. You get 15 hours of battery out of it because the, the charger, once you put it inside, it charges it as well, just like your AirPods. Pretty impressive mic system for 330 bucks. Look, this is a very enticing set. You put one on the groom, you put one on the officiant, hook it up to your speaker, boom, you're set. But are you? I messed around with them when I first got them. Out in the garage, took them outside, walked around my street, I was walking around my house, still picking it up, no dropouts, but as you guys know, those tests are bullshit. Only legitimate test is to actually take it out on the field and try it out, but I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't fucking testing this shit out on somebody's ceremony. I don't wanna walk up, sorry about all the dropouts, I got some new uh, microphones and I just wanted to try it out on the biggest day of your life. Because I wasn't doing that, I did wanna test them out in a real world experience, so here's what I did. Okay, here's my plan for these new DJI microphones. I've got them here at a wedding. I'm not using them for the ceremony though. I'm gonna put one of them on the groom as a backup. I just wanna have it on them and, and read what does it do to the Evers. I'm gonna watch the signal. So here's how I have it set up. Over here, I've got my Sennheiser mic, and there is the DJI microphone right there. And I've got an eighth inch cable going into XLR. All right, it's in channel one. And when I did a test of it and I walked up there, I had the volume at about 10, 15. And I'm telling you, like I had it on the podium up there for the officiant, and it was picking these guys up. I was picking up the music and it was picking up their talking. So again, I'm just gonna use this as a backup situation for today. And then um, I might turn the volume just a tad, but I'm really just watching the signal to make sure that the signal works all right. This is the one right here that I'm gonna put on the groom and I'm gonna put on the inside of his coat. Microphone is right there. That's the plan. Again, I'm not gonna give it a lot of juice. I just wanna see what's the signal like? You know, is this something that could be cool to pick up the couple whenever they're, you know, reading their vows is like an extra mic that I got here. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. They talk for hours, and before they knew it, the lights were being turned off, and the place was closing. In fact, their date went so well that Ben called Molly the next day and asked for another date. Now, if this were back in 1975, I'd have to chalk it up as just being a coincidence. I mean, what are the odds? Your, your big, beautiful eyes and bright smile were little reflections of the kind-hearted girl I was about. My headphones up to them, I listen for dropouts, I listen to how it sound. One of the things that happened right away I noticed is I just clipped it onto the groom's lapel on his jacket. And it is kind of heavy, so even like right now it's like drooping down with the magnet. But when it was on, the, on his lapel, it got, when he moved or hugged somebody or something, the microphone got switched around and so it was facing inside and all it was just crackling like because it was rubbing against his shirt until it kind of like popped back out so that i mean if i had that live that's the sound i would have heard when i was watching the receiver as you saw in the video 
Just the signal just wasn't like a sturdy, full bars, ready to go. You know, it was kind of fluctuating up and down, moving around, getting down to two, getting down to one, which makes out never. You never want anything to get down to one. So it got down to one and that just made me a little bit nervous too. My opinion is no, don't do this. I, I can't have it. I can't have a ceremony where I am just flipping out, just my heart racing. All right, I already get notifications on my watch like, Aaron, your heart rate is elevated. It's always during the goddamn ceremony. You really can't fuck this up. You fuck up a ceremony the whole rest of your night. You are climbing uphill in the mud while people are shooting bullets at you. It's just the worst feeling when something goes wrong during the ceremony, especially with the mic. I've had it happen two times to me. What do you think so far? Are you with me? Hit that like button if you agree. Right now I'm using a Sennheiser digital dual system where it can do lapel and a handheld both at the same time. Yes, this mic system was not cheap. It was $2,000. The reason why I invested in that is because now when I go to ceremonies, I kind of breathe easily now. I know like I got a good mic system. I have got half wave antennas. I'm looking at the signal. It's constantly full bars, no matter where I am, no matter where I position, full bars of signal, I know that I can depend on this mic system to work. And with these, I just feel like it's a little bit of a gamble, too much so that I'm not willing to take it. But I know there are guys of you out there that, that use these and you swear by them. You're like, Aaron, they've never failed me. And I, I gotta tell you, you got some balls. You got some big old brass balls. Bigger balls than me, because I'm not taking this risk out there. But leave me in the comments what you think. I wanna hear. Those of you out there that use these all the time, you swear by them, tell, tell us what you think. And, and I know like location, you know, like if you're in the city or rural, you feel more comfortable, but I'm in Minnesota. I do a lot of weddings out in the middle of nowhere. And I still, I still don't feel like I could trust something like this, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, what system you're using. Let me know. I'm sure that we're all going to agree on this. If you want to see the exact ceremony system I use, I just posted the whole thing on my Instagram at DJ Aaron Strong, jump on there, give it a follow. You can see everything that I do. All the gear that I use is in my kit. It's in the description. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button and the subscribe button, and I'll see you at the next one.